Hello my beautiful friends. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Carrie Cox and on this channel we talk all about the mind, body, and spirit. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the Earth Star Chakra. Stay tuned to the end of the video where I give you some techniques and hacks in order to activate and balance your Earth Star Chakra. If this is your first time here, please hit the red subscribe button below and smash that bell notification button so that you can be notified when future videos are released. Now I have an entire playlist series on my YouTube channel of the seven main chakras. And we have more than seven chakras in our body. And today we're talking about the eighth chakra, which is the earth star chakra. So I'm gonna give you a quick brief overview of the seven main chakras in case you don't know what they are. But starting at the root chakra, which is at the bottom of the spinal cord, it governs your legs, feet, and bottom of the hips, and that is your root chakra. And then moving up to about two inches below the belly button, governing the rest of the hips and the sex organs is the sacral chakra. And then moving up from there about two inches above your belly button to about your diaphragm is your solar plexus. That governs your digestive system, your stomach, and then moving up to the center of your chest, governing your arms, your heart, your shoulders, is your heart chakra. And then at the throat, we have our throat chakra, which governs our all the parts of our throat, our teeth, our mouth, our voice. And then moving up to our third eye, which is in the center of our forehead, right above the center of the eyebrows, and then on the top of the head is the crown chakra. Now the crown chakra is number seven, so it is governed by the seventh dimension. And then beyond that is the eighth chakra, which I'm sure your first thought is it's right above your head, but actually it is below the feet. And this chakra is very important for us because this is what keeps us grounded and an additional sense of safety beyond just our root chakra. Our chakras play a vital role in our well-being on a physical level and an energetic level. And we don't really pay a lot of attention to the ones beyond those main seven chakras, but it's super important to pay attention to your earth star chakra because this chakra holds vital information in it. This is where your karmic cycles and patterns are being held and where you'll find information about your past lives. You can find your seven main chakras attached to your physical body because there are physical components involved in those seven chakras. But the eighth one is actually below our feet. It's about 12 to 18 inches under our foot chakra and is attached to our feet chakras. We have minor chakras on the bottom of our feet. The earth star chakra can sometimes be referred to as the super root chakra and it really is the grounding system for the entire chakra system. This chakra connects us energetically to the entire universe. It's very easy to become ungrounded in this chakra because we're so inundated in today's world of technologies with the Wi-Fi, the computers, our phones, and all of those electronic signals disrupt our own energy system and our own grounding. And so it's really important to, to practice some grounding techniques, especially when you're feeling ungrounded. When you're not feeling quite safe in the world, you're not feeling quite secure, and you're just feeling really like airy and in your head a lot and you just can't get down into your body, well, that's a really good sign that you may need to do some grounding. And if you stay tuned to the end of this video, I'm gonna give you some grounding techniques and hacks that will help you achieve feeling more grounded and stable. So let's talk about what it looks like for our physical body uh, when we are not grounded. What kind of symptoms can we experience? Well, some symptoms that are associated to being ungrounded in the Earth Star Chakra could look like hallucinations. It could lead to eating disorders. You could feel very unstable in life, maybe just not very calm and peaceful. 
It could play out as blood circulation problems in the body. You could have all kinds of ailments in chronic pain that have to do with your hips, knees, ankles, feet. If you're experiencing constant fears and phobias and maybe an overall lack of spirituality, this all comes from not being balanced in our earth star chakra. Now, when we can get to a level where we do feel balanced in this chakra, some of the things that will start to happen is you will find more inner peace. You'll feel more secure and stable in life. You'll feel grounded and protected. You'll have a better uh, peace of mind. You'll feel more connected to Mother Earth. And you'll feel as if you're working for a greater cause in life. When our Earth Star Chakra is in balance, it will help us to naturally repel negative energy and negative influences that may try to overtake our energetic field. We will be able to discharge those negative energies or impure energies down into the earth so that they are not affecting our auric field. Now, if you're feeling ungrounded or you really haven't explored the chakra, how do we get more grounded? How do we get more connected to the earth and more centered and grounded within our well-being? Well, we can do this through some different grounding techniques. So one of them is walking outside barefoot. This is one of the most beneficial ways that we can ground because the ions within our own body that need to be released, release down into the core of the earth through our energy. And so walking around outside barefoot is a great way because you're connecting with the earth and the earth is the opposite charge of our body. And so it's pulling out all of those energies that are no longer serving us. I'm going to link a documentary to the description below. It's one of the best documentaries I've ever seen on grounding. It really shows the science behind it and that this isn't some woo-woo technique. There's actual scientific evidence of the energy field around us and the fact that we need to be grounded. So I will link that link in the description box below. Please check that out if you want to learn more information on how grounding works. Another method that you can use for grounding is meditation. When we're in that meditative state, we're connecting to the universe, we're connecting to the earth, and we are feeling more grounded and more balanced within our energies. Yoga is also another great way to feel grounded. You don't need to do an entire yoga session, but just doing some yoga poses that were developed from the yogis with the intention of feeling more grounded in your body, something like tree pose. And while you're in tree pose, if you're visualizing roots growing out the bottom of your feet and deeply embedding into the core of the earth, you will feel more grounded. And then another thing we can use for feeling more grounded is sprays and oils. Um, I call this more of like a biohack. So in my store on my website, thepowerof3within.com, I have a shop and I make Reiki infused oils, sprays, and candles. And when you use products like that, that are made with intention and ceremony and infused with Reiki charged energy, then it's going to make you feel more grounded. It's going to raise your vibration. It's going to help you dispel those negative energies around you. And so I make a product called Shift Your Vibration, which helps you raise your vibration. It's Reiki infused, all natural ingredients, high quality essential oils, there is no water, no filler in this. It's all pure therapeutic grade ingredients. And this blend is not something you're gonna find anywhere else. This is custom created by me. And I have another product that's called Star Connection and it's a roller blend and you just roll it on the bottom of your feet. This also is made with high quality essential oils and the carrier oil is jojoba oil and the bottom of our feet have over 2,000 pores on them. And so the body absorbs whatever you're putting on the bottom of your feet, the body absorbs that into the body. 
and the ingredients in here are very therapeutic, very healing. It's all Reiki infused using sound therapy and Reiki energy. So it's energetically charged with high vibration. Also, there is smoky quartz crystal chips in here, which are going to also help activate and awaken your earth star chakra. So you would just roll this on the bottom of your feet. So there are products out there like this that could help biohack and make you feel more grounded. Not only is my star connection grounding oil going to help you with your earth star chakra, but it's going to help open and activate your root chakra as well. We can't forget about that root chakra because that's really the foundation of our seven main chakras. So I hope you found this video informative and we'll pay attention to your earth star chakra. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Check out my store, The Power of Three Within. There will be a link in the description box. And as always, love and light and namaste.